want this to be like a Mecca. When you hit LAX, you come to Afro City to get all your souvenirs and all your memories. The Afro City Marketplace provides affordable retail space for small and community businesses. We have a little over 20 vendors right now. So the brand is called Head and Tire Trendsetter and the collection, the main collection is called Self Love, which is the jacket you just tried on. And that's made to empower the love for self. My name is Mel, brand owner of Head and Tire Trendsetter and the collection is Self Love. Love for the city of LA. I've been in Afro City Marketplace for a little over a year, approximately um, 15 months to be exact. We have Nobody Jones, we have Anaya Roma candles, Bren Bren bracelets, we have Afri hats, we have Lost and Found decor. The beauty about Afro City being here inside is that um, I'm here seven days a week as opposed to before, prior to coming here, I would do a lot of pop-ups. I came up with the name Afro City. Actually, it's named after a web series that I shot about 10 years ago. It's like a black city, African city, and um, yeah, community city. We are a collective and we're all under one roof. So we share customers. Your customers are our customers and our customers are your customers. 15,000 square feet. We have an event space where we have all of our community events. People can rent it out for their family events. It's an art gallery. It's a lot of interactive concepts for when our visitors come and commune. This is by Afro Funk. Okay. A designer, her name is Luna. This is the head wrap bar. Oh, this is so cute. You can come in and get your African head wraps. You can get your solid head wraps. And we just wrap you up and show you how to do it where you're looking like a queen. This is where I grew up, the Crenshaw area. It was very important for me to be in the community and I just was so lucky to come across and receive this space. I started off acting in Hollywood and doing production on a lot of music videos. After I kind of retired from the Hollywood, I started a natural hair and beauty expo a traveling expo and we went from city to city, state to state. That's where I got my passion for small businesses because they were telling me like a lot of their needs. As a black woman, being an entrepreneur in the city and the neighborhood that I grew up in, it just really feels good. And I love when all the little girls come in, when other young women come in and it's like I'm an example for them and they know that they can do it. And I want people to fulfill their dream and if this their dream is entrepreneurship, then hey, Go for it.